Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave communication and television as well as satellite communications. In today's topic, we are going to learn about the block diagram of communication satellites. So, exactly what these satellites consist of, what they are made of, and how these satellites are divided into several segments, starting from the solar panel till the thrusters which we give energy to push the satellites, we are going to discuss. Okay. So, if you see the basic block diagram of a satellite of any satellite okay so it starts from a solar panel so you might have come across several satellites the whole body of the satellite is covered with solar panels right in order to take the energy from the sun and convert it into electrical energy which runs the whole satellite throughout its lifetime okay so so the starting segment what we see is a solar panel okay so this solar panel is uh, connected to an power subsystem so this power subsystem is the major part which plays a major role in our satellite okay without power the satellite won't work okay so the satellites are uh, included or integrated with several batteries and these batteries are connected to the solar panels which are integrated to the outer body of the satellite okay so so whenever the satellites which are moving around the earth they use their uh, solar panels and take the energy from the sun as well as they again convert that into electrical energy and store those electrical energy into the batteries okay so we have several regulators in here these regulators uh, converts the energy into the required energy okay and it will be given to an dc as well as ac inverters such that you can give a required amount of energy to the whole satellite operation okay so from here uh, we again have a communication system. So communication system also plays a major role. The main purpose of initial, uh, installing the satellite into the orbital space is for communication, right? So this communication uh, subsystem also plays an important role in these satellites. They use several antennas. So for that, they again have an antenna subsystem. So say they use several antennas for the transmission and reception of the signal as well as they use several frequencies in order to communicate with the earth stations or the ground station, okay? So whenever any information is required, okay, regarding anything, okay, it can be a weather forecasting or it can be any data required from other planet, okay? So, or it can be a digital communication or a telecommunication kind of thing. We use transmitters and receivers along with a certain frequency and we uh, communicate with the earth station or ground station and we fetch that particular information using this particular satellites okay so along with this we have telemetry tracking and control subsystem and we also have a telemetry antenna we are going to see what are these and we have several lines called control signals okay along with that we have attitude control subsystem as well as propulsion control subsystem or the jet thrusters okay Propulsion uh, subsystem or the jet thrusters, okay, whenever these uh, satellites, whenever they are moving around the earth, they try to or tend to move away from the orbital space due to some gravitational force or several forces, okay. So, in order to put the satellite into the orbital path again, we use this kind of propulsion subsystems or jet thrusters. So, let's see the power subsystem initially. So, in power subsystem, all communication satellites obtain their electrical power, electrical power from solar cells, okay. So, these cells are placed on the satellite surface. As I already said, these satellite, uh, these solar cells are placed on the surface of the satellites or outer body of the satellite. They charge the batteries that operates the satellite, simple concept, okay. So, it takes the energy from the sun, the uh, where whatever the energy is taken from the sun that is converted into electrical energy and this energy is stored in the batteries and later they have there will be converted into ac or dc and they, later according to the use they will be used okay now coming to the next one communication subsystem so communication sus subsystem as i have already said it is the heart of communication satellite as we all know the satellites are majorly used for satellite communication, right? I mean, satellite communication purpose, right? So, 
communication system as we all know it is the heart of communication satellite as we all know like uh, mainly satellites are used for communication purpose it consists of transponders where transponders are nothing but okay they receive the signal from the earth stations they amplify the signal and also they will transmit the signal as a down uh, again to the earth station which we call it as downlinks whenever you take or receive a signals from the earth station you will call it in, calling it as uplink signals and whenever uh, you try to send the signal from the satellite towards the earth station we consider as download signal okay so it consists mainly consists of antenna subsystems and both which are used for both reception as well as transmission okay now let's see the telemetry tracking and control subsystem so these telemetry tracking and control subsystems monitors the onboard conditions okay so the satellite which is moving around the earth okay so it may experience several temperature okay fluctuations or some uh, issues regarding the components present on the satellite so that can be the battery voltages okay and it also need to take care of the transmission of the data as well as the reception of the data so so it will ttc telemetry tracking control subsystem it looks after the temperature conditions as well as the battery voltage fluctuations if at all there is any voltage fluctuations it will or a sufficient amount of energy is given to the satellite or not it will be looking after that along with that it also looks after the transmission and reception of the data okay uh, with respect to the ground stations ground stations means the huge antenna stations which are located on the earth okay which transmit or communicates with the satellite right so this data is also uh, gets analyzed using ttc tele telemetry tracking and control subsystem okay and coming to the next one altitude control subsystem we can also call it as altitude control subsystem it provides the stabilization in orbit and senses the change in orientation so initially what we expect the satellite is designed in such a way that that the satellite need to move around the uh, earth or in an orbital space okay in an elliptical manner okay due to some forces it experiences stabilization problems sometimes they move out of the orbit or sometimes they move into the orbit or into the earth okay so whenever they senses some orientation this attitude control system okay jet, uh, fires the jet thrusters to perform altitude adjustment similarly for a rocket or a jet planes kind of thing you might have observed some energy or the fire propellers at the back of the engines right whenever you use that fire propellers or the jet thrusters what happens some force extra force is applied to the vehicle okay such that it can move in huge um, uh, speed or velocity right similarly whenever an satellite is about to move out of the orbit they use these kind of jet thrusters you can see over here these are the jet thrusters okay these things okay so these are used to fire the jet thrusters and to perform a particular adjustments whenever required so attitude control system or the altitude control system or a subsystem is used to make the satellite move in a proper direction without any okay uh, stabilization problems okay so under this you have again an propulsion subsystem so it is nothing but as i have already said it's a kind of a kick motor used to put the satellite in the orbit okay so at the last the main important one is the antenna uh, subsystem uh, so all the satellites will be having one or more antenna right one is for transmitting or one is for receiving or a single antenna can be used for transmission as well as the reception purpose so these antennas are mainly used for for the communication purpose between the satellite as well as the earth station so the main purpose of communication satellites are nothing but in order to exchange the data right 
so whatever the information is required throughout the global okay we use these satellites we use the help of these satellites to get or uh, gather some information okay back to the earth where earth will be having some sort of earth stations where earth stations are nothing but an space with huge antennas which communicates with the satellite okay so these are the basic blocks of okay communication satellite starting from the solar panel power subsystem communication subsystem telemetry tracking and control subsystem altitude control subsystem propulsion control subsystem antenna subsystem all the several segments are present in a basic block diagram of a communication satellites okay whenever all these combinedly work together we can uh, successfully establish a powerful communication between an earth station as well as satellites mm -hmm.